Hey everybody, I hope you all have an amazing day today. And if you have already watched my video about my experience with the small vertical wind turbine, which was called Smart X3, then here's the next piece of the story. And this action took place last year, 2023. That was in uh, July, August. Uh, maybe some days of September, I don't remember exactly. But the idea was, if small one doesn't give enough spinning rotation to get some higher, to get some nice voltage for it to be able to produce something, because like five, six, seven volts, it's nothing. You will, you will agree. And the like size of it was really small. It was like only 0 0.75 meters high and 0 0.45. Uh, meters width in, in the wind well, so it's really a small one. I decided what if going bigger will get me something, something nice. So, 2 meters and 1.4 meter. That's a difference, right? And of course, the main difference was the generator. The generator was really, really big one. <clears throat> it was able to... Mm, I mean, it, it, it was quite heavy. It was like uh, 25, 26 kilograms of um, pure metal weight. Um, there was a lot of copper inside it, uh, of course. So technically, because it was also quite big in size, it, it, it had a lot of poles, so it could have produced something. And yeah, let's go and check what happened, how the story went. All these two months experience you will see in like five next mini minutes, uh, maybe max. Um, and... If you will like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more. So let's start with the general overview. So this was the small wind turbine. For those who don't remember the video, I will show you the link about so you can check how it, the test of it actually went. Uh, however, you see my conditions, uh, even being mounted low, it was able to rotate and yeah, you know, uh, things can be done. Here is the vertical one, which is quite bigger in size. Two meter high of the blades. And, um, well, it's in pieces right now. I actually took it, uh, like, gathered together to some smaller pieces, so it's it's easier for me to, to, to mount it later. Uh, but you may see the size of the generator. It's, 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 it's quite big. It's, um, like, it, it also is heavy. But the, the construction in general looks like this. So it, it is pure metal, uh, metal, metal size uh, machine, which is quite good. So, like, imagine, here is the size. <laughs> that's, that's quite nice, right? And here it goes, being mounted on top. Little to no wind, maybe like two something, three meters per second, I don't know. Exactly, but it already rotates and rotates like like with some nice distinction. Uh, I have this smaller fan just like for fun, and it doesn't even spin or try you now to, to to spin. But it the rotation you may see how the difference is. Of course, the height is important, uh, and yeah, with this rotation that I was able to experience, I was thinking that frankly it may do some nice thing. But here we go. The wind had died just a little, so we have around 1 meter per second. It still keeps rotating 1, 1 1.5 meters per second wind, but the voltage is how much? Not that much. Still around 9, 10, but already very much more than the small one was producing. Okay. Um, if on 1, 1 1.5 meter per second it gives me around uh, this voltage that I am able to see, so... Why not? Why not to try and let it go with the... Let's just wait for the bigger wind and test it really nicely. However, I've been thinking that the, there might be a trouble. A trouble with the cable, because the cable is quite long, 33 meters long. And the manufacturer provider told me, Okay, you are just like very good to go with 2.5 square millimeter copper cable. Three phase, of course, uh, so three wires. Um, and yeah, I did it because that was his recommendation. However, eventually later on, I found out that this may cause the heavy losses. That's why I'm thinking to adding uh, a very different uh, thing. So I'm going to add the place where the inverter will be mounted right under the tower. 
and then uh, the, the two, 220 volts will be going inside the house. So that's the difference that I'm going to make later on. But uh, eventually, the main thing is we are here to test it. So here's the wind. It's 5, 5.5 5 right now, meters per second. And it, it rotates quite nicely. You may see actually by the looks how the cable uh, from the solar is, is, is moving and from the fact how the leaves are moving. So the wind is quite good. Let's see what's the voltage output. That was the max that I was able to see. It. Just like, just you wait for the screenshot. It will appear right now. 10 watts. 23 volts. That's it. Max. Okay. I am done. Mounting on my equipment and going up to the tower to actually dismantle it. I am done with it. No more vertical wind turbines. I do not recommend it to anyone. It was also a real nightmare to put it down because it's quite heavy and you know the, the, the toughest part was actually to get this generator here. It's the only thing that is currently left now on top. It, it was the toughest part to take it down. 25 kilos not to drop it. But yeah, here is the general view from the top of a tower. You see how clean is the area? No obstructions, only from one side, from one side, sorry, there, there is the house and it gives me turbulence a little bit. For vertical it's nothing, but in the end it appeared to be a problem for the horizontal wind turbine, which is this one that I ended up with, which you have seen already some, some of you in the video. Uh, and this is the outcome I would actually tell anyone to go with. Go with horizontal, they work.